Hi, I'm Laura Lee Keishley, and I'm a faculty member in the Department of Communication here at Wayne State University. I've been with Wayne State University for 18 years, and during that time I've worn many hats. The consistent theme has always been that I have been a faculty member. I have been in the classroom for every year that I have been here. I started off my academic life here as the director of the Masters of Arts and Dispute Resolution program. I have moved into being the graduate director of our department, overseeing all of our graduate programs, and then I had the opportunity, an honor, right, to be um, in the interim chair position for a period of time in order to help guide the department forward and to continue to uh, support our faculty in developing high quality programs and making our students' experience more positive. The courses I love to teach and that I get the opportunity to teach essentially focus on helping people develop skills and experience and an understanding of managing difficult situations for themselves but with other people. And in essence, I focus a lot on conflict. So one of the courses that I teach is negotiation theory and practice. I introduce the students to some of the key theories and approaches and concepts about the ways we can think about negotiating with other people. And then we create situations in which they can apply those so that they can start to get actually see how this stuff works and also in the process develop their own skills. So for me, it's kind of a cool course because students not only are academically getting more um, clear and being able to assess a situation, but they're also developing their own interpersonal skills, which are going to help them outside the classroom in their jobs and in their lives. I then follow that course up with one on neutral intervention. By neutral intervention, what I'm talking about there is how we, as third parties in essence, help other people try to manage what's happening between them and somebody else. It could be individuals, it could be groups. Um, many of you might know one of the most familiar forms, which is mediation. And so in this course, we introduce them. I introduce them to that. Uh, we talk about the different kinds of approaches to be used. And I help the students think about the kind of approach that captures the values they have and how they can match an approach to the nature of the conflict. So we're also teaching in that course how to analyze and identify sources in conflict and then be able to match more appropriately how we might want to engage with people around that. Another course I have the privilege of teaching is at the doctoral level, and it's the Introduction to Doctoral Studies. That gives me an opportunity to meet and work with the first year doctoral students, and, it's an, and I really focus in that course on introducing them to the discipline, although many of them come with master's degrees in communication, but we get to dig a little bit deeper. But my overall framework for that course is to have them start thinking about their career, how they want to be once they graduate from their PhD. Because what we know from how people are successful is they establish goals and then they identify steps to achieve those goals. So in this course, part of what I do with them is help them start thinking about where they want to go and what are some of the experiences, the courses, the kinds of questions that they want to explore when they do this. As you may be able to tell from my accent, and I haven't said the word process yet, but as soon as I said that, you knew where I came from. I'm actually from Canada. I was born in a small town in Saskatchewan, and I was raised in Calgary, Alberta. And for the last 18 years, I've lived here in Detroit, worked at Wayne State. And it's an interesting experience being an immigrant. Um, what I have loved about being here in Detroit is the passion that people feel. Um, it's people come here, and if, and if they're anxious, you know, because there's lots of stereotypes about that, what we like to do and what I like to do is have them come see us. And then we take them around and show them all of the interesting and exciting possibilities here. One of the things I knew that drew me here was the incredible racial and ethnic diversity of this area. Oh my goodness. The opportunity to be with people of all different cultural backgrounds, different experiences, socioeconomic classes. What I like about being in Wayne State and being in, this, and being in the city of Detroit is there's opportunities to interact, engage, and come to know each other in ways that you might not necessarily be able to know if you're in a more isolated uh, community. So, and one of the things I have found too, even as a Canadian, is that passion that I talked about for Detroit. I find when I travel and people find out I'm from Detroit, they'll look at me very seriously and say, 
what's going on in Detroit? And I'm happy to tell them what's going on in Detroit. I'm happy to talk about it being an arts and cultural center. I'm happy to talk about it being a labor town. I'm happy to talk about the activism and the energy that people in the neighborhoods and the community feel. I'm happy to be able to talk about how you never, um, what's the phrase? You may be down, but you're never out. And this city and these people keep coming back. And at, we at Wayne State are part of this community. And what I like is that we are actually part of this community. We're not taken from, we're given back to and working with. So if you want that experience, if you want an opportunity to be able to be in a context that's rich in terms of experience, in terms of race and ethnicity, in terms of different lifestyles, in terms of wanting to ch do things like many people want to do, they want to change the world, we'll come to a place where the world is constantly being changed on an ongoing basis. Welcome you to Detroit, and I welcome you to Wayne State University.